Okay, so I want to take the time to go over some very important and useful VBA lines of code. And the first one is how to find the last row of your data set. So for this example, we will be working inside the last row sheet tab within our workbook. And our goal is to write a line of code that returns the last row of our data set. And since that we are in a new section of the course and our current writing VBA code module is getting a little bit cluttered, let's insert a new module. So we can come up to insert and select module. And I'll name it important VBA logic. So within this module, let's add a new sub procedure. So we need to type in sub and then I'll call it last row. Okay, so there are many different ways to find the last row in your data set. And depending on how your data is set up, can determine which method is best to use for your situation. But for this example, we will be using one of the more common methods to find the last row. So I'm going to write out the whole line of code first, and then I will go back and explain each section of the code. So I'm going to type in LR for last row equals cells open parentheses rows dot count comma one close parentheses dot end open parentheses XL up close parentheses dot row and this is the line of code that will return the last row of your data set now let me explain what this code is doing let's start with cells we have seen cells before when we were referencing a range and cells accepts a row number and a column number so if we were trying to reference cell a1 we can use cells 1 comma 1 because a1 is in the first row and a is in the first column but for our row number we used rows dot count and what this does is count the total amount of rows that's in the Excel worksheet which is 1 million something right and then for the column number we are specifying the first column which is column A so this whole section right here is equivalent to the last cell that's in column A so if we come over to our worksheet and press the shortcut key control down this cell is the exact same as cells rows dot count comma one now the next section is end XL up and this is equivalent to the shortcut key of control up so first it takes us to this last row in column A and then uses control up arrow which takes us to the last row in column A that has data in it. And the last part of this line of code is dot row. And this just returns the row number of the cell that end Excel up or control up arrow takes us to. So if we add message box LR for last row and run this sub, our last row in our data set is 14 which is correct and if I click OK and add a new ID number and run our sub again now our sub returns 15 as our last row now if we put John in cell B16 and we run our sub our sub still only returns row 15 even though 16 is the last row within our data set. Well, if we take a look at our code, we are only referring to the cells in column one. So if we wanted this code to account for John in row 16 of column B, we would have to change this column number to two. So this is definitely something that you would wanna watch out for. But I can't stress enough how important and useful this line of code is. I personally use it almost every time I work inside of VBA. So this is definitely something that you want to remember. And later in the course, you will see how useful this line of code is when we start talking about loops and how we can do something to each cell 
until we get to the last row of our data. Another example would be if you needed to automatically insert a formula in the last row of a column. But we will get into all that later, so for now, just try to remember this line of code. 